Bar fam. We are here today with a new truck and a whole bunch of goodies, guys. We got a new project coming up, and this is Project Storm. We have a 2012 Dodge Ram 1500 4x4 Hemi Crew Cab. So as you can see, guys, we have a whole bunch of good parts sitting here for Project Storm. This truck is going to be a daily driver, go to work, have fun truck. It might see the racetrack a few times, but for the most part, this is going to be a daily truck that is absolutely fun to drive. And as you see, we have a whole bunch of parts. So stay tuned. We're going to go over Project Storm and all the good parts we just picked up for the build. So here we go. All right, guys. So right off the top, as you can see, we chose Torque Storm Superchargers, obviously. And that is mostly because most of you guys know I run it on Frostbite and I have had awesome results with the Torque Storm Supercharger. It has been flawless. I've had zero issues with Torque Storm, no leaks, no belt problems, no nothing. The, the thing has worked great, the truck has ran hard, and we are still working on running faster every day. But as you see, we have the Torque Storm Supercharger for Project Storm. Same exact supercharger that's on Frostbite. And this is going to make Project Storm an absolute runner. The goal for this truck is to be a daily driver that is just absolutely fun to drive. You get in the truck, it's going to be super reliable. And when you put the pedal down, the truck is going to move and you're going to know you have a supercharger. Again, the truck is a 4x4. The 2012 is equipped with the six-speed transmission, uh, which we know all the five and six speeds are not the very best um, of being a powerhouse by no means. We're going to keep this at a pretty low boost build. Uh, we're going to try to stay very well around the seven PSI mark or less. Again, we're not trying to make a whole bunch of power and break records. We're making this truck fun to drive and add some serious horsepower as we do it. But at the end of the day, it's going to be a reliable, fun truck. That is the goal for this 4x4. And going into the next part, we have the Mopar licensed auto meter boost gauge. This is the same gauge that is in Frostbite. This boost gauge is what I'm running in Frostbite, and this gauge is very, very accurate. Uh, there's actually a lot of people running the same boost gauge, like Joey Bellagio and Incredible Hemi. Um, they both run the same gauge. And again, I love this gauge. It looks great. It goes well with your Mopar, obviously, with the little Mopar symbol in it. But this is a mechanical gauge, and it's very, very accurate. I love this gauge. So we went with the same gauge for Project Storm. The next thing we have is the gauge pod pillar. This is also from Autometer. We went with the double gauge, and that is because... We will be obviously running the boost gauge in it and our AFR wideband gauge. Very simple pillar to install. These fit very well on the rams. You can also get them with three pods. So you, if you wanted one that held three gauges, that is definitely an option. But we chose the two pod, which is the same one I'm running in Frostbite. Like I said, fits great, works great. Not too bad to install very very good gauge pillar from Autometer. so the next thing up of course adding a supercharger we have to upgrade our fuel injectors and we went with none other than fuel injector clinic for our fuel system so fuel injector clinic injectors these are the FIC 650 cc injectors very popular injectors these are also the same injectors i'm running in frostbite currently um, fix 650s they tune very well they tune easily and they they work very very well zero issues when you're running fuel injector clinic injectors that's for sure well worth the money I cannot stress the importance of cheaping out on injectors a lot of people ask me can I run Hellcat injectors can I run this can I run that yes Hellcat injectors work but many people will tell you that they're absolutely trash Spend the money, buy good injectors from Fuel Injector Clinic. That is the, the best, 
quickest, easiest answer I can give you when it comes to injectors because I get hammered with injector questions all the time. Thick injectors, you cannot go wrong. Next thing up is our PLX AFR gauge. Now, I get hammered with these questions just as much, all right? What AFR gauge do you recommend? Well, here it is. PLX, I believe, and there's also a lot of other people that will say the same thing. The PLX AFR gauge is the best gauge out there for the money and for the performance. This gauge works very, very well, and it's very accurate. And all I can say is it's worth the money. It's a great gauge. Last thing up is we have the Snow Performance Water Methanol Injection Kit. We're going to be adding water meth on this build as this is going to be a water meth setup. Project Storm will be running a water meth setup. And as you can see, we got a storm coming, literally. So Project Storm is uh, storming on us. So we're going to be running a water meth kit on Project Storm, and that is the goal. We're not going to be running an intercooler setup. We're trying to make this as budget friendly as possible, work very well, and we're going to go with water methanol for our setup for Project Storm. All right, Mopar fam, as you can see, we are in Project Storm right now. As it's storming outside, that is absolutely awesome. Uh, in the middle of the video, it literally starts to storm on us while we're talking about Project Storm. So, I guess the name rains on its own. So, there it is. But, there's a breakdown of all the parts going on the Project Storm. This build should be very, very fun. We're going to do a complete full install video series on every single item we purchased. The gauge pillar, the gauges, the Torque Storm Supercharger absolutely everything the water meth kit everything so we'll be having videos coming up on this new build for everything we just got um, also the tuning on this truck is going to be from dr differential uh, i work with justin at dr differential he's going to be tuning this truck for us as well um, and again this truck is going to be staying a daily driver truck this is going to be a two work to the store and once in a blue moon it might see the track but this truck is to be a daily driver a workhorse a fun truck to get in and drive and that's what this is about we want to add some power to the truck but we want to make it very reliable and great for a daily so i think this build is going to be perfect for that um, we're also trying to make this build as cheap and budget friendly as possible we're going to be running water meth injection for our cooling um, so we're going to be relying on water meth for the cooling. We're not going to be messing with intercoolers, piping, or anything like that. I'm trying to make this setup work for the average guy that can work with hand tools and stuff like that in his driveway and bolt this up and not need, you know, per se, a welder um, or anything like that. We're trying to make this a simple bolt-on deal that works great for the guy that just wants his truck to be a little bit more peppy or he wants a little more power for towing or he just wants to have a fun truck to drive that is what the, that is the point of project storm so definitely guys stay tuned uh we have a track we have a track outing plan for uh project storm coming up in a few days we're going to take the truck to the track and we're going to get a baseline run how the truck sits right now um, i'm gonna go over the mods on the truck currently okay so the truck is pretty much bone stock okay except for a little add-ons we currently right now uh, when we go run the truck this is what's going to be on the truck it has a diablo programmer it actually has my old diablo programmer on the truck diablo trinity to be exact and it's running the 93 can tune from diablo nothing's been changed in the tune except for the mds is turned off but it's the factory can tune 93 tune from Diablo. Um, other than that, it's got my old Mopar cold air intake kit under the hood on the Hemi. That's the only engine modification on this truck. And then for exhaust, this truck is pretty stock for exhaust except for mufflers and the piping. 
it's running the factory exhaust manifolds okay factory exhaust manifolds no long tubes or nothing like that factory exhaust manifolds it still has catalytic converters and the catalytic converters will be staying on the truck as this truck has to pass emissions and it's got uh, true duels coming off the cats all the way to the rear bumper um, going into Flowmaster Super 44s. So basically a full exhaust system truck, passes emissions, catalytic converters, all of that. We will be running the truck with those mods. Um, I expect Crew Cab 2012 six-speed Ram. I'm thinking, you know, it's summertime. We, we, I'm thinking we can click off a 15, a 15 something. That's my guess. Um, so we'll see what it does. The DA has been averaging between about 28 to about 3,500 uh, the past couple weeks with the heat that we've been getting. Um, so I'm guessing around 15s. So I don't know. Throw a comment out there what you guys think Project Storm's going to run uh, with the setup on the truck currently before we go and modify a bunch of stuff and add the supercharger and all the goodies. Um, after all the goodies, again, we're not trying to make this truck super fast. We're just trying to make it fun. I'm kind of thinking with good air, we can get this crew cab maybe to run somewhere in the high 13s or something like that after the torque storms put on and all the good parts. So that is a rundown on the new build going down on the channel. Um, so of course we have frostbite. Frostbite's not going anywhere. We're going to be working on frostbite. And now we have Project Storm and a lot of videos coming up on project storm so as always guys stay safe out there don't forget hit that subscribe button and we'll see you guys on the next one